Hello, dear students of Begum Rohim Islam College, Tarpeshan Shoshivishan Bola. How all are you? I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also well. Dear student, our today's class is introduction to linguistics for the students of third year honors department of english dear students you have already known this subjects introduction to linguistics today i am going to discuss on linguistics Ling linguistics is a highly technical subject it is a branch of science in this paper there are nothing that can be invented by the students in the exam hall so utmost care has been taken to make this subject easy Dear students, do you know what is linguistics? The word linguistics has been derived from Latin lingua, means tongue, and French term lingu. And strics means knowledge or science. So, linguistics is the scientific study of language but it is the study not of one particular language but of human language in general dear students you see language is everywhere so it is an inseparable part of human society according to aristotle Language is the representation of the expression of the mind. There are three properties of human language. These are discreteness. Number two, arbitrariness. And number three, openness. These are the major properties of human language. At first, discreteness. Discreteness is a word which is brought from mathematics, which refers to sets, models, and theories. And it helps us to understand the complexity of problems. Arbitrariness. Language is arbitrariness in the sense that there is no relation between the word and their meaning and the ideas which are conveyed by them. There is no reason why a female adult human being be called a woman in english in english gen in uh, farsi feminine in french and aurat in urdu Third one, openness. Human languages are 
open to changes. Now, new linguistics are new linguistics messages are coined easily and freely. Thus, old messages are transformed, blended, and assigning new meaning. Though linguistics is a broad subject, now I will give you short description of the main aspect of language. The main aspects of languages are Number one, syntax. Syntax is the structure of language. Syntax is the structure of language. It determines which word goes where. In general sentence, we follow the rules. Suppose I play football. Here I subject play bar football object. So syntax is the structure of language subject bar object. Number two semantics. Semantics is the structure, is the meaning of language, is the meaning of language. Number three, morphology. Morphology is the structure of words. <coughs> Number four, phonetics. Phonetics is the <coughs> is the study of speech sound. Phonology. Phonology is the scientific study of sound system. Number six, 
pragmatics pragmatics means pragmatics means the contextual meaning of words pragmatics means the contextual meaning of words then number 7 graphology graphology studies the writing system of a language system of a language number 8 lexicography lexicology lexicology is the systematic description is the systematic description description of words including its origin development development and users <clears throat> number 9 competence competence linguistic competence linguistics competence is the system of system of linguistics knowledge linguistics knowledge possessed by native speakers others by native speakers of a language must one 
performance number 10 performance performance means the actual the actual use of language the actual use of language in a concrete situation Okay, dear students, I will suggest you, you will go through the books out and out and try to understand the linguistic terms I have given you to this class and prepare yourself for the in-course exam. I will end up today here. I hope you will stay home, be safe, and be studious. Allah bless. Assalamu alaikum.